Hello curious minds as we embark on this educational voyage of identification of fine let us approach each concept with open mind and open heart so here is a question which is from the paper may june um 2022 question number 6 a student is provided with aqueous copper sulfate see aqueous copper sulfate and aqueous aluminum sulfate the student tests the three solution by adding each reagent in the table compare the table with expected observation so what is required you need to write the observation and you need to determine the expected compound in case of x now these are the reagent see they these are the reagents as you can see it is written here reagents and aqueous sodium hydroxide aqueous sodium hydroxide and these are the aqueous solution 1 2 and 3 these aqueous solution are tested with this these reagents these reagents are used to identify the cation and anion so first of all you have a copper sulfate solution in a test tube and you add sodium hydroxide in it so what will you see you don't need to remember anything because you are provided in your question a key right so see test for aqueous cations so you will quickly go to the provided key and see what is given here now where is aqueous sodium hydroxide written in the key you you will first see the cation and then go to the sodium hydroxide so here we are we have sodium hydroxide in this column sodium hydroxide so now next thing you need to check in the table what is your positive ion this is copper 2 and you know what does copper 2 indicate copper is a metal so copper sign is cu and the charge on copper here 2 is written it is 2 plus right so let me write it again see c u 2 plus so copper 2 plus so you will go to the table and you just check where is copper 2 plus see copper 2 plus written here and what is the observation of copper 2 plus with sodium hydroxide you can see blue precipitate and you will simply write here blue precipitate are formed now check second one aluminum sulfate so first thing first you need to check test of aqueous sodium hydroxide so you will you need to check this table sodium hydroxide table in the key and aluminum mean al and you don't worry about charge just see the symbol of ion aluminum is written here and what is the observation of aluminum with sodium hydroxide it's white precipitate so just write here white precipitate now for x you get reddish brown precipitate okay see the observation because in this case they have given you a observation so let me check where is reddish brown precipitate here so check the ion which is against red, reddish brown precipitate it's iron 3 plus so what does it indicate it indicate this is the solution x contain iron 3 plus ion now the second observation 
your tube which contain aqueous sodium hydroxide followed by its excess so you are adding excess to it so where is the excess observation for with copper sulfate here we are and let me write it with green uh, copper insoluble in excess so you will write here precipitate insoluble in excess blue precipitate insoluble in excess and in this case aluminium you will see soluble in excess giving a colorless solution so you will write here white precipitate soluble in excess okay now with aqueous ammonia again check the check with copper aqueous ammonia test aqueous ammonia is written here let me change the position uh, let me i i hope it is clear to you now okay so effect of aqueous ammonia for copper uh, here we are this is copper and they are saying you get light blue precipitate here light blue precipitate and for aluminium what is written again white precipitate is written okay excess of aqueous ammonia with copper you can see excess of copper ammonia where is copper here and where is ammonia here and what is written here soluble in excess so soluble in excess and there is one more observation it is soluble in excess and one more information is giving a dark blue solution so i'm writing dark blue solution is formed okay for aqueous ammonia for aluminium what is written here it is insoluble in excess so white precipitate and same is the case of x x may x you can see reddish brown precipitate insoluble in excess iron 3 confirming iron 3 precipitate remains iron 3 plus so you can see the observation i hope it is clear to you now come to the next part of the question see let me okay now you can see when you add silver nitrate so what what are they talking about they are talking about silver nitrate like for silver nitrate and dilute nitric acid so where is silver nitrate is it defined with dilute nitric acid then silver nitrate here you have silver nitrate silver nitrate silver nitrate silver nitrate but silver nitrate is meant to identify chloride ion bromide ion iodide ion and you know what you don't have in this case the only anion which is given here is sulfate sulfate and it's you don't know about x you just have observation okay now see with aqueous silver nitrate no chloride bromide iodide is present so you will write here no change no change but in this case you get white precipitate upon adding silver nitrate so you just need to identify what is the anion so with silver nitrate 
white precipitate are formed if chloridine is present. So you can see, you will write here chloridine. Okay, now come to aqueous barium nitrate. See, find the aqueous barium nitrate. It is written here and it produces white precipitate and it is meant for sulfate ion. And you can see in your question that sulfate ion is in the question given. Here you have sulfate ion and here you have sulfate ion. Sulfate ion, sulfate ion, and you will write here white precipitate, white precipitate. Okay, and in this case, no change. Why? Because chloride ion will not give anything with barium nitrate. I think you understand. And the last, not the least, there is, you need to write, you need to identify X, which you have already identified, iron 3 plus Cl1 minus, and you just ex exchange their charges and you get FeCl3, iron 3 chloride. I hope you understand. Thank you very much.